I think time. I give the call to the member for Dawson. Speaker, I rise today to voice, my, voice the concerns of my constituents. The people of Dawson are extremely nervous and fearful of the rising costs of living. Today, the Reserve Bank has again lifted interest rates, making this the fifth increase in five months. Australians with a $500,000 mortgage are paying on average an extra $600 per month, compared to interest rates in April of this year. This is an increase of $150 that families need to find each and every week. Deputy Speaker, Back in March of 2022, the Coalition Government provided relief for Australian families by bringing in the $0.22 cent fuel excise reduction. I am calling on the Albanese Labor Government to continue this fuel excise reduction. In my electorate of Dawson, we have limited public transport options, and long-distance travel is part of everyday life. Fuel is a huge weekly expense for regional Australians. Groceries have also increased significantly, with noticeable increase at the checkout. Families are being forced to make a choice of either putting fuel in their car or food on the table. I don't think that that's fair. And Deputy Speaker, what about the insurance premiums in my part of the world? They are outrageous leaving thousands of residents with no choice but to live uninsured or at risk. North Queenslanders are still waiting for the Labor Albanese government to implement the $10 billion reinsurance pool. While North Queenslanders dread the looming cyclone season, the insurance companies continue to profit from this indecisive no-plan government. Energy prices are ever increasing, and Australian families and businesses are struggling with soaring power prices. Yet nothing is done, nothing is being done to increase our base load capacity or supply. In fact, this current government, who are bowing to the Greens, are taking away reliable and affordable options. Deputy Speaker, we are all in fear of what the next 12 months will bring with these cost of living pressures. I am constantly asked by my constituents, what is the government's plan? So I stand here today to urge the Albanese Labor government to get a plan instead of reintroducing the industry-wide bargaining, industry-wide disputes and strikes, which will ultimately lead to higher unemployment, less profitability within businesses and a negative impact to the overall Australian economy. So I asked the Prime Minister, could he stand by his word and please give the Australians the $275 power reduction to their power bill that he promised? 97 times this promise was made since December 2021. Before the election, Mr Albanese said, I'll say this very clearly. They, meaning the Australians, will be better off under a Labor government. Again, this is just another Labor broken promise. Now, the Treasurer says there's no credible economic forecaster in Australia right now who thinks that wages growth is going to keep up with inflation. Inflation under the Albanese government is running at 6.1 per cent. This is the highest rate of inflation in almost 32 years. This is the highest rate of inflation since Labor's recession that we had to have, apparently. The independent parliamentary budget confirmed the Labor's government policies will result in higher debts and, def and deficits. They did not even submit to all their policies to the parliamentary budget office for costing, despite they're saying that the policies were fully costed. The Assistant Treasurer is out there predicting hyperinflation and more strikes, and that is not what Australians need right now. The Prime Minister tells us he has a plan. The Prime Minister has promised us a plan. So please tell me the people of Dawson 
What is the plan? 